Over the years, creating and animating 3D characters have seen lots of progress, and sometimes you can't even tell that the character is computer generated until you take a closer look. This is the case because some smart people spend a lot of time creating very special tools that an ordinary 3D artist will never dream of touching, unless they work for those studios that own this stack. These 3D software and animation systems have been used on the biggest VFX projects over the years, so let's take a look at them and see what they actually offer under the hood. We're gonna start with MOVA Contour Reality Capture, which is an advanced facial motion capture system developed in the early 2000s by Steve Perlman through his company. It was actually designed to capture incredibly detailed and high-resolution facial performances for use in film and digital character animation. This technology was mostly used by Digital Domain Studio in films such as The Curious Case of Benjamin Button in 2008, where it helped create the digital aging and de-aging of Brad Pitt's character. It was also used in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince for the transformation effects, in addition to other movies such as Deadpool for facial movements. And unlike traditional motion capture systems that rely on a limited set of physical markers, MOVA uses a technique called photogrammetric capture with fluorescent makeup, allowing you to track and reconstruct every tiny movement of an actor's face, down to the skin texture and muscle deformation. This resulted in hyper-realistic frame-by-frame facial mesh data that can be directly used to drive CG characters with unprecedented fidelity. The system works by coating the actor's face with a special phosphorescent paint, which is invisible to the naked eye, and filming them with a synchronized array of high-resolution stereo cameras under specific strobing light. Each frame is treated as a volumetric scan of the face, not just a point in time. The data is then processed to produce a consistent 3D mesh for every frame, accurately representing facial performance without the need for manual rigging or guesswork. I mean an expression reconstruction, which made this system really groundbreaking and helped several VFX studios create amazing stuff. Another powerful performance capture system is called Medusa which is a high-fidelity facial scanning technology developed by Disney Research Studios in collaboration with ETH Zurich. Unlike traditional motion capture methods that rely on facial markers or makeup, Medusa employs a mobile rig of cameras in addition to lights to capture the three-dimensional shape of an actor's face, and they will do this over time at very high resolution. This markerless approach allows for the reconstruction of detailed facial performances, capturing subtle expressions and movement with exceptional accuracy. Medusa has actually been used to bring to life complex digital characters in numerous blockbuster movies. We can mention Josh Brolin's performance as Thanos in Avengers Infinity War, enabling the creation of a lifelike digital double that conveyed nuanced emotions, as we all saw. And the system has been also utilized in other major productions, including Star Wars, The Last Jedi, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and Spider-Man Homecoming. And in general, it helped bring amazing characters to life. Another interesting system is called DI4D, developed by a company called Dimensional Imaging. It is basically a capture facial system known for creating digital doubles for film, television, and especially video games. Its technology has been used in numerous high-profile projects, including the creation of digital doubles for Rachel in Blade Runner 2049, where it enabled the creation of a lifelike performance that contributed to the film's Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. In the gaming industry, DI4D has been used in titles such as Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, in addition to Quantum Break, and I believe it provided realistic facial animations that actually looked good. And one of its secrets is the Pure 4D pipeline, which further integrates machine learning to produce scalable and high-fidelity facial animations, which are suitable for real-time applications, such as video games. But how does it work? 
It actually uses a combination of high-quality camera systems, in addition to advanced software. It captures detailed 3D surface scans, I mean of actors' faces at video frame rates, allowing for the reconstruction of subtle facial expressions without the need for markers or makeup, even though it is not perfect. But I want to explain it further. The system employs an array of synchronized cameras to capture static, high-fidelity facial expressions. And these systems feed into DI4D's proprietary processing pipeline, which uses optical flow tracking and machine learning algorithms to generate these facial animations. Also, I want to talk about Masquerade, which is Digital Domain's proprietary facial performance capture system. It was actually developed to translate actors' nuanced facial expressions into digital animations for film, games, in addition to other real-time applications. Initially, it was created to bring Thanos to life in Avengers Infinity War, but Masquerade has evolved through multiple iterations. Each enhances its capabilities in addition to its efficiency, from version 1 to the second version to version 3. The system operates by capturing actors' facial performance using a head-mounted camera, which is equipped with markers. And these markers track facial movements, which are often processed through machine learning algorithms to generate detailed 3D facial animations. Masquerade 2 introduced significant improvements, including automated marker tracking and the ability to handle complex facial motions with greater accuracy and speed. This version reduced the need for manual adjustments, allowing for faster turnaround times and a more natural performance. And the latest iteration Masquerade 3 further advanced the technology by eliminating the need for facial markers altogether. So as you can see, it actually made progress in the right direction. So utilizing a markerless approach, it captured facial performances without the need for makeup or physical markers. And this streamlined the production process, reducing setup time which I think is really important in filmmaking, because it costs a lot of time. This version also incorporates integrated gaze estimation, enhancing realism of digital characters by accurately capturing eye movement, because if you see the earlier version of such technology, you will see the eyes moving in a weird manner, which is not realistic, and our brain can pick up on that really fast, so it was a huge turnoff. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about Ziva Face Trainer, which is an AI-driven facial animation system developed by Ziva Dynamics. Needless to say, it is a company known for its physics-based character simulation tools, and they can do a great job. The company was acquired by Unity Technologies in 2022, which made this technology available to the public, but later on things happened, and I believe right now it is not available to the public. Anyways, Ziva Face Trainer is designed to automate high-quality facial animations for digital characters, and it does that using machine learning, in addition to performance-based training data. The interesting thing about this one is that it eliminates the need for traditional facial rigs or blend-shaped setups by generating lifelike facial deformations based on a library of trained performances and digital muscle simulations. So there is no need for actors, motion capture gear, or large warehouses where things happen. You just need the software. The system works by training a digital character's facial mesh using high resolution 4D scan data. But just a disclaimer, you need to go first throughout the training and after that, you will be able to use the data. Anyways, the training phase maps out how digital faces should behave under various expressions and emotional states. Once trained, the character can then respond to new video inputs such as a webcam recording an actor's performance, and it can generate expressive and realistic facial animations in real time, or near real time. This is just technical jargon, but it leverages deep neutral networks to process the input and drive the deformation of the facial mesh with high automatic fidelity. Some of the projects it was used on include digital doubles for video game developments, and one notable demonstration was the hyper-realistic digital human named Emma which showcased the system's ability to capture subtle micro-expressions and speed-driven animations. And to be honest, this one was on a high level. It was really interesting, and lots of people were talking about it. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. 
Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.